I kept praying. I'm praying that I get better. That God should intervene in my situation. Claims of Hamiza's health situation is not the one that anybody will look at and turn the left eye. Hi, welcome to my channel. If today is your first time of coming by here, hello. And if you're my wonderful returning subscriber, hello, hello. This is me appreciating you for clicking on this video and coming to watch. If you love the voice, you love the content, do not forget to hit on that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell to all, and join the family. Thank you. Okay, my people. Nobody, I don't think Claire Mohameda is actually a strange name to anybody when it comes to Nollywood if you're very fervent with watching Nigerian movies. Claire Mohameda happened to have started acting quite a long time from the days when he was slim to when he came out having his pot belly and everything and the next thing you know, his posture changed right before our eyes. And the truth is, to me, this whole health challenge thing didn't come to me as a shock when he released the video about his health challenge because if you have been watching Clems, you will definitely you know something changed about him a little mostly his posture i'm i i am I'm, I'm very very sure about it anybody who has been watching nollywood will tell you that Clems or Hamezia's posture definitely changed and let's hold on to that just a few days ago claire there was this video of him that was released and in that video he was talking about his health challenges after having an accident and this accident he had it when he was going to film, he was going to a film location in a quiet bomb with his crew and some other people when he had the accident he actually came out and he talked about it a lot of people gave him some bashing because of um, he was being interviewed in, on bbc Igbo and he was mixing both Igbo and english and a lot of people were like okay why are you mixing Igbo like you're a call Igbo man speak your language be very proud of it that wants to be set aside so after the accident you know looking at the story he said he said after the accident he actually went to the hospital and i just want to give it to this man his english is top notch his english English is top notch when it comes to medical terms he is good okay so he said he went to the hospital did some diagnosis and everything and that was when the doctor discovered that his lumbar is not long is it lumbar one part of his spinal cord that my english no kill me is actually collapsing to the other one and that um, um they needed to do something and he said that um they carried out um a, a, a temporary solution which he became better and he went about his business but after that you know along the line he still started feeling the same when he had to go back and he went on to carry out an mri and after the mri it's it discovered that the whole thing was actually deteriorating and let me take a pause and discuss about this his situation In his word he said that his cervical vertebrae 3 is collapsing on the fourth one and this cervical vertebrae is the one that holds the tongue in place and it helps in the bending and rotation of the neck which aids in body movement the cervical vertebrae 4 contains nerves that run through the diaphragm and its spinal nerves dermatome usually includes part of the skin over the shoulder the myotome includes certain muscles that help in shoulder movement and this is the reason why claims on Hamezia's movement has been badly affected and actually kept him away from the movie industry because if you remember he said that it had actually affected his career in the as aspect of the Nollywood and also his personal business and although, although he went on to review that he was going to come back once after carrying out this surgery I just want us to know that this cervical vertebrae are the vertebrae of the neck immediately below the human skull and they mostly control the body movement and this tells you the reason why the actor suddenly went from being the man who used to stand straight who's elegant i can't describe i can't go on to describe how he's a very handsome person anybody who has been watching the nollywood films will know that clan mohameze is a very handsome man from just not just being tall his 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 looks and everything and he has never been known for the stature of bending and all of a sudden as he added weight and you know first and foremost you know he started having pot billy and everything then the next thing his posture changed and that was when i became worried even before the whole 
him disclosing his situation i became worried about his condition because the claims that we know was not the claim we were not the bending claims and it's quite a pity he's going through this i'm telling you the truth if you watch that video and you do not shed a tear ah that means this your heart eh? they shall carry and tie some for somewhere like i just want to use this video to say a big thank you to this woman ah they say have a friend though that when you're in need your friend will be with you like i never even i was expecting his family and he's i don't know i don't think his family is actually around in nigeria but to know that one of his colleagues stood by him in this time not regarding the shame not regarding what people were going to say she stood by him it is really worth emulating and um he didn't come begging for money although the speculation came a lot of people they were saying that he came looking for money no he didn't come looking for money what he came for was simply he's asking us to pray for him because he's actually scared he's a 50 50 um surgery because it's either he does it if he doesn't do it he's definitely gonna end up in the wheelchair and if he goes for it it's also a 50 50 thing so whatever it is him to come out openly you know to actually ask for prayer you should know that this, this man has been thinking a lot about it and it really hurts me because we have lost a whole lot of veteran actors that i don't like thinking about them whenever i see their movies i try to actually you know just suck it in that these people are no more you know but for this one he's not asking for money he's only asking for prayers and as he has said this with his mother he will come back to dance claim he will come back and dance Some time back, I was involved in an accident and taken to the hospital. After consultations, the doctors requested that I do an x-ray, which I did. And the result of the x-ray came out and it showed that my cervical vertebrae 3 had collapsed on the cervical vertebrae 4. Thereby there was a pressure on my spinal cord. Initially from the lower part of my waist down, I noticed that I couldn't work well. I was placed, placed on some kind of traction. For about four months. After which I got better. And I was discharged. I went back to my normal business. But after a while, I noticed that my movements, lower limb and part of my upper limb, was deteriorating. I wasn't working well, so I went back to the hospital. Upon examination, the doctors requested that I go do an MRI, which I did. The result of the MRI came out and they found out that a lot of nerves running from the cervical down to the lumbar was being press pressured. And then for them to decompress that pressure, they need to separate the third cervical vertebrae from the fourth cervical vertebrae. And the only way they could do that was through a surgery. So they explained to me the procedure. It was too scary for me. Too, too scary. I told the doctors that I needed to think about it and get back to them. While I took my problem to God, I kept praying, I prayed that I get better, that God should intervene in my situation. I talked to 
just kept calling that time was running out and that the more I stay the more it will cause me to deteriorate and I might end up on a wheelchair it's okay so I had no choice than to make up my mind to go for the surgery so I called them back and told them I was ready for the surgery and they booked me for first week of December so I recorded that video because I knew there was nothing God cannot do God is only using the doctors to do his work so I put out that video asking the entire Nigerians to pray for me so I can go in for the surgery and come out successful and then get back on my feet. <laughs> Papa is here. He's my spiritual father. So I told him I needed to come here for prayers. And he said to me, son, I should come. And then here I am. Papa, please, let the church pray for me. It's a very scary surgery. We are here by support your journey for this operation with some of 8 million naira. soutenir avec une somme de 8 millions 8 millions de naira car lui qui a été bouqué à une opération c'est acteur de la cinématographie nigérienne qui a un problème cervical et un problème lombaire et ce problème affecte les disques de sa colonne vertébrale ou alors l'homme de Dieu aujourd'hui plein de compassion manifester cet amour à son égard et L'époux de l'homme de, de Dieu, son épouse à l'instant même, qui ouvre ce sac d'argent. We are here, not, not on the prayers. Bring them out, arrange them. Bring them out, arrange them. Cet argent à l'écran être donné en espèce, une somme de 8 millions de naira. Et cet homme est ému car c'est de l'inattendu, mais d'une réalité aujourd'hui, car le Seigneur répondit à ses cris, lui qui faisait face à tant d'éfités financières pour ne même pas prendre soin de lui. Mais le Seigneur l'a fait à travers son serviteur, le prophète Seigneur Jérémie Omotopofin et son épouse. Voici qu'on était avec nous, cher Tessateur. It's not easy, but today, don't worry, this is called love. God sent me in order for a day like this to assist the people that who out. Papa, I will tell you what, that dance your dance that has become a signature tune everywhere. I shall return and do that dance with you.